Hi everybody, I'm Mike Anderson with the Car Mike 327 channel. How's everybody doing? Today we are going to take a look at why a head gasket blows. And we're going to take a look at one of my formal vehicles by 1990 Cadillac. So let's take a look. Let the cold start begin. You'll notice that I use a lot of the formal cold start videos from the previous cold starts that I made on this Cadillac. I think this Cadillac was going to be a YouTube star, but, but not so much. Well, we are watching one of the exhaust clips on the 1990 Cadillac. Let me go over some of the symptoms that indicates a blown head gasket. First, coolant leaking extremely far below from the exhaust manifold, white smoke from the exhaust pipe, overheated engine, bubbles in a radiator, white milkety shake oil, significant loss of the coolant with no visible leaks. Those are the six symptoms of, of what makes a blown head gasket. In this part I'm going to show the engine and then I will show the exhaust clip and we might be able to identify a problem by watching this very first cold start. It was probably about between 10 and 15 degrees when I attempted this car, and we had a lot of trouble with it. It took me about seven tries to get it Now, would the problem be that I rev the car too much? I believe not. But you can comment and you can let me know what you think about this as well. And you can see how tricky that car is to getting it to start. Idle air at its worst.
you'll notice, man, I had a lot of trouble getting this car to start. Seven to eight tries to finally get this thing running. For a little bit, I didn't even think it was possible to get it to run because of the idle air that was so completely screwed up. And you could tell how frustrating it was for me to get the car to start in this clip as well. And I also think that this cold, harsh winter that Indiana encountered was also extremely hard on this car as well, too. You see this cold start on this GMC Envoy, everything does appear normally, and everything is normal on this, so why not the Cadillac? The engine here. This is a 4.9 liter V8. It's also got a front wheel drive system in it. Here's your coolant, which has unfortunately spilled out, and indication your alternator. And here are just a few pictures of some of the blown head gaskets that you'll see, for example. And also a couple of pictures of the white smoke of the car. However, on the Cadillac, these are the two signs that I did not see as far as the white smoke. But I did see a lot of blue smoke when the car started, so it seems to be run normally. So, what else are the symptoms? We'll keep taking a look at the symptoms of my 1990 Cadillac. Deville. So go ahead and take a look at three more cold starts and see if we can identify anything else. No white smoke.
We're going to pause this video for a few seconds. Notice how that car took a while for me to get it started in this segment. Would that be a, would that be an issue? We'll take a look. At this point, the idle air has been fixed, so we'll take a look at that cold start real quick. Then we'll talk in detail about the head gasket. smoke coming out of it. Um, that's just the cold smoke. And like I said, everything seems to be working or appear normally. And this is just normal, you know, normal cold smoke from the car. Nothing abnormal about that.
So anyways, this is part two. Thank you for watching. Alrighty, so notice how I identified something in this last clip. I'm showing the coolant, and the coolant is actually boiling. That is a sign that the head gasket is blown. The coolant had actually boiled over, and I don't have any video clips on that. So that is a sign that your head gasket is blown. We just identified something, and as far as starting up and idling, yeah, it's that is part of the issue. Okay, so what causes a head gasket to blow? Number one, overheating. Insulation air is number two. Number three, hot spots. Pre-ignition, a negligent problems, and a bad head gasket. Now, this one with the overheating, that could usually be caused because the coolant has dropped significantly low. Also, coolant may, not, may have not been changed in a long time, or your radiator might be going out so that could be some of the issue as well too insulation air if you install a bad gasket both needs to be tight tightened. correctly if you don't do that then that could also be the damage hot spots in the engine could be a prone hot spot between the center of the cylinder and also throughout the effort box gasket of the head gasket blown head gasket however an older car could could have spots in cooling cause especially an overheated head gasket. And number four would be the for city driving pre-ignition problems for the spark plug chance of, chances of fire could also be due to debarment. That's the number four. Number five, just a bad head gasket. That could be a warped. It could just be a poor design. We were able to identify at least two symptoms on that car as far as the head gasket is concerned. As far as the car is concerned, I decided not to keep it. I decided to let it go. The car has now sold, and hopefully somebody will be fixing it to restore it. The transmission was also going out, and there were a few other issues. $4,000, just not worth it. So I'll probably, hopefully, maybe end up getting another caddy and maybe in the future or so. Um, well, this is it for this segment. Thank you for watching this fantastic video, and you can check my Facebook page, the Carmichael 327 Facebook page. Also, ch check out some of my pictures and videos and that kind of thing. Also, check out the 765 NKP. New videos to come, so otherwise, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.